welcome to the history hunter welcome to our small adventures with the world with two time frame today we're going to have a look little look at one of the locations on the atlantic wall my very simplified drawing here shows you that the atlantic wall was the fortification of the whole coastlines through the south of france through france through belgium netherlands denmark norway tens of thousands of structures you know bunkers, gun placements, radar positions, barracks, almost anything you can imagine is to be found on the Atlantic Wall fortification line. Today we're going to go on to one specific position and we're going to see if history will share something with us here today. Please watch the video in full, that's the best way you can help our work. Other than that, subscribe, share, comment, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time we release some new material. But now, let's go and see if history will share something with us here today. Severe storm coming up, I have to actually cover the microphone. It is ridiculous. Hope that we'll be able to go through this. It is pretty hard, pretty hard. Hope this will come through the microphone. That is bomb craters. Absolutely genuine bomb craters. Leftover of the attack that the Allied put on the Germans here. Another bomb crater being filled with water and ice. Absolutely everywhere. Hope the recordings will be okay here. But there are tons of shrapnel pieces absolutely everywhere here. Can you see that? You poke in the ground, shrapnel, 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 everywhere. Pieces of uh, probably the Allied bombings. So there was probably a, uh, there's actually a bomb crater right there. So I'm guessing the Germans did something here. That is actually a piece of the band around the artillery shell. So the Allied spotted them, found them and just took action. We actually found some rounds of nine millimeters laying around here as well. More pieces of what seems to be maybe destroyed equipment absolutely everywhere. So maybe the Germans stored something here and the Allies actually found it and bombed it. See that? I'm not sure whether that's a single flare, what it is. It's in the area of the bomb crater. Huh. That little ridge line doesn't say much right now. But just wait till we'll show you what is there. So, ready for this? This is pretty awesome. A huge Regelbau bunker just laying there. It's pretty, pretty awesome. And uh, you can see the camouflage, canvas hooks on the top there, lined up. So there will be camouflage canvas all the way from where we're standing here. I'm being stretched over to the bunker roof and make a passage here where you couldn't be seen. But you know, the Allied could actually bomb the area anyway. So we're down in the trench, closing up to the second bunker over here which has actually what seems to be bomb damage. See if I can get you over there. But in the end there, it's actually a gun position. But that piece is where there was the uh, machine gun turret on the top there and the different uh, entrances further over there. See there, in all the trenches, there are still the remains of uh, the activity after the Germans barbed wire fences and metal rods and steel cable. It's absolutely everywhere. None of the doorways are available to see in. So we're gonna work ourselves away over to the gun position there. See if there are some details for us to, to have a look at. This bunker is massive. See, these are huge Regelbaus and they're connected with this thing here which is a massive gun position. So that is two munition storages and the one furthest away could actually be a Mannschaft bunker, but they all used the passage in between here. They came over here. Let me show you something here. That wall is plastered with the uh, hits absolutely everywhere. 
and I mean everywhere. There are thousands of thousands of hits in the wall there that probably just scraped off. But let me show you what this is all about. This is a massive German gun pit. We have underground storages. You have this incredible wall that they made around here of rocks and concrete. They often use that to construct it. Oh, that is slippery. That is pure ice. That is pure ice. So we're gonna take a look first and see what's in here. Oh, that is beautiful. We can actually go down there. That is the communication central. It would be power supply, telephone, communication, all of that would be in there. So they had full control and they could also be fired simultaneously by several guns by electronic control. So the firing order bunker could simultaneously give signal to maybe three or four 15 millimeter or 10 millimeter guns, 10 centimeter guns that is. <laughs> so let's go down here and have a look. We got the Olight X7 armor order. That would very often be a little spot where some gear would be. And uh, I'm not too sure about this high slot here. Guessing could it be for rifles? Standing upright, I couldn't tell you. There's a piece of metal right there. All right, let's go down here. This is probably just a small munition storage, but the blast door is actually still there. How cool is that? Hope you're enjoying this. It's a pleasure to share our journeys and adventures with you. So, so a couple of small rooms here. And if I'm not mistaken, it's just gonna be a very small room. Yeah, kind of ventilation up there. Oh, and a lot of spiders and stuff here. Oh, crack, a lot of strange flies. All right. But spiders, well, we all know we don't like that. So they would stack the munition here. Sometimes there would be markings in the roof of which type of munition would be where. But here they probably just did it the old style way, stacking it up and putting it into separate compartments so they know which munition was where. Steel door, very nice. Such a pleasure. I said to be able to share these moments with you and for us doing this is just incredible on the outside here um, the gun mount was right there actually some connectors there that is what I just talked about you could electrically control several uh, guns at the same time and that is still there in the middle of the gun mount that is pretty interesting if you ask me. So they have electrical control of several guns and in that way they can uh, fire towards the same target from different gun positions. You have to be very careful here, it's very very slippery. So down here, um, okay, looks probably the same. Crank up the light again. Yeah, it's basically a mirror-like um, image of the other one. Just everything here seems to be on the right hand side. But are there two rooms here? No, they have this column here. I don't think the other one had that. Yeah, same thing, it's just opposite. Completely turned around. Yeah, millions of very special flies. So <laughs> we're gonna leave. Look at that, Eagle Eye. Found a little pit over there and he came, slammed it down here. I think that's actually the 20 mil, uh, sorry, the um, German K98 MG Kattish rounds. Blasted, cooked, exploded. And then he kind of shows me that. That is 50 cal, probably from the Allied aircraft. See that, that has actually hit something. That, he said, yeah, that, he said, came from a sand dune from the trench. So that 
was just poking out. So here you have it, German side being peppered, burnt and exploded, Allied side kicking butt by their aircrafts in the area, strafing the Germans. How about that? Yeah, my son showed me that little pit. There is kind of like, what is that? Looks like some brass pieces, actually some glass. It's a cartridge piece. All of them are blasted like that, you see that? Don't have a metal detector, so look at that. Really, really blasted. And there, the glass piece, there's something. What is that? Oh! Oh, you faking. What the heck? Oh, there's a swastika. And an eagle. What the? What the heck? Okay, we should have had. Let me see, we should have had a metal detector here, you know, to, to... What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, there's a wing there. Oh, it's rusted. What are they? That can be. We don't have a brush. Yet. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that can. Is it loose? No, 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 no. I know what that is. Are oh, you. What? What is that? No, 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 no. That can't be. That can't be. How do we clean this? Okay. Could you please step aside here a little, little bit? Wait, wait, where are they? Put them here. Cartridges, glass. What is going on here? We don't have a pinpointer either. What is that? What is that? Ah, dealing to. here <sighs> all right I'm gonna oh, give me a second give me a second all right we can't figure out what that is but I can actually see a eagle a swastika and some kind of guy there and on the other side where am I that must have been some kind of metal or something I don't know what that is. This thing here, well, I I really hope and dream that that is what I think it is. We're gonna find some water and we're gonna, ah, oh, this is, this can't be, this is absolutely ridiculous. So we have this thing here. We're gonna do a lot of search right here, but if that is what I think it is, that is just absolutely fantastic. <sighs> See here, I'm actually shaking because I haven't even cleaned it, but I know what the other one of the things are that's a metal actually. That's the bunker wall. We found some cartridges right on the corner here in the grass under there. We found some stuff right there. This, is, look, look at that, it's just absolutely next to the bunker in the hillside and we, we, we checked all of this. We don't have a pinpoint or anything, so I, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. It started to rain again, and there is something there, actually. No, it's just a rock. Um, it started to rain again, and the wind is terrible, and Eagle Eye is getting tired. But we are definitely going to clean up these two if we can find some water. Everything is frozen, but I know what that is. The thing, I really don't know what it is. Holy Madonna. All right, time 
to see what this is all about. I do know this is the Winterschlag. That's a medal. That is actually a German medal of the Eastern Front. That thing there, I really don't know. You can see on the back here. I think there was some kind of uh, pin or something here. This one was hung here by, I think like a ribbon or something. But you can see on both of them. Let me see if we can get that here. See down there, the eagle, the swastika, this thing here, that actually looks like a boy. It doesn't look like a soldier. Eagle, swastika, and like side, nothing. This one, I do, where is it? I think it says, that, that is a honorable medal for a German soldier participating in uh, the Winter War in, I can't remember what it is. Eastern Front, I think. Holy Madonna. See here, towards some other positions here. It's a massive trench line. Dug out, goes all the way from the first bunkers, gun position, all the way down to a bunch of gun positions further down here. But the wind is really starting to get on us very difficult to actually stand up right here so and I'm covering the microphone as good as I can with that dead cat on so oh this is a struggle we can see here this massive trench the trees are growing inside it so all right let's continue that is some massive damage on that bunker it's been totally ripped apart uh, wow that is pretty insane. Look at the chunks that have been cut out of that bunker by bomb activity or whatever. Wow. Never seen such damage in my life. It's like several meters has been cut out of the bunker by the bomb blast on the outside. Holy trench we came from over there. The first position. We found those beautiful... Oh, details from the past. Oh my God, I'm still shaking after that. But look at what happened here. It, it totally mashed up. And that is heavily reinforced concrete. And it doesn't look like more than a rubbish pile of boulders. Incredible. Well, we never expected that. Um, what can we say? Just absolutely... What they say, England flabbergasted. That little position there. Well, we're definitely coming back. I have to say, never expected this. Um, weather has turned on us. It's absolutely gusty. You can see the uh, the wind up there in the tree line. It's very powerful. Every time we go up, it's just like being blown down again. So I think we're going to actually end the video here. And what could be more appropriate than ending it next to the bunker where the German soldier did their duty during the Second World War. Please subscribe, comment, share, uh, watch our videos in full length. That helps us out the most. Massive thank you to my patrons for supporting us. And this is the result that could come out of such a support. Other than that, we will see you in the next adventure. Stay safe. Bye-bye. And uh, see you later.